بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Dear viewers, welcome to Youth Hour أفنا شوبك شاغتو تناتشي أما نامي سحاق أما دي Youth Hour يا شاء الله We have got a lot of young brothers here ما شاء الله from Tower Hamlet and we're going to be talking about youth life especially the issues they face and what are the solutions the ones are watching from home you can call us also share your views as well uh, let me introduce our panel today far right um, Abdurrahman please tell me about yourself my name is Abdurrahman um, I live in Tower Hamlet and I'm 17 years old I'm studying in Tower Hamlet College Alhamdulillah Welcome to our show, sir. Yeah. Yeah. And next. Um, my name is Akim Mutakim. I'm 17 years old. Um, I'm from Bo, and I go to Bo Six One. Masu, tell me about yourself. Uh, Asalaamu As Alaikum. I'm, I'm 16. I'm from Bo, and I go to Bo School at yeah, Six One. Um, my name is uh, Abdul Hassan. Uh, Asalaamu As Alaikum, everyone. Um, I, I work in Tower Hamlets, and uh, I work with these young boys in the community as well. Fantastic. You know, I'm so glad you guys made time for us, especially, you know, like, and um, Alhamdulillah, it's great to have you guys. So we're going to talk about youth life. That's what we're going to talk about. Yeah. What kind of issues we face? And what do you think the solution, inshallah, after the break? So if I ask you, Abdurrahman, um, from you, because we started from you, I don't want to pull your leg. <laughs> um, what do you think that are the issues for the young people in Tawah? There are a lot of issues like gang violence, Drugs, people like falling the wrong side of, like they don't have to. Bad. Yeah, but there's a lot of people like that are falling into that trap, and there's a lot of ways that you cannot like, not go that way. What about you? I mean, he's young, he's facing. The, do you think it's the same issues you face as well? It's, it's similar, um, and it's it's a lot more. Harder, I'd say, for the younger generation, because they're gonna have seen what the older generation have done, and they're gonna take, you know, in, in a bad way, inspiration from that. Because you know, we we shouldn't be setting the young generation aspirations in that way. We should be setting them aspirations in a good career, you know, looking after their family, you know, giving back to the community. But I definitely agree, you know, all the stuff that's going on. I'd say it's harder for the younger generation right now. Because for us, we, we was the first ones. If we did it, we would have been the first ones. But now they've seen people do it and, you know, you, you know the bad stuff, you know, they've seen people do it. So they could think, yeah, you know, someone else has done it. I can definitely do it. You know, it has, it's that negative effect, isn't it? You so know, somehow, you know, like, do you feel the olders, like myself, the parents, they don't realise the difficulties our young people are facing in the, uh, outside the home? Yeah, it's a massive, dangerous part, man. To to a certain degree, I'd I'd agree. Um, you know, a lot of people, they might have a d difficulties, you know, under getting involved and understanding what the children are going through. But compared to what our parents went through, and you know, at that time, in their in the, in their life in London and everything, it's different to how it is. We we have it so easy. You know, we're, we're comfortable. We can walk freely in the streets, you know, without worry of, you know, racist abuse or anything like that. You you have a big community. In those days, you know, they it was hard for them, you know. They couldn't walk in free places. You know, they were they were new at that time. A lot of people came to the country new that time. So, you know, they were seen as a minority. But you know, it's it's not that way anymore. Masum, what do you think? Do you feel the same or do you think it's in the if you could add more issues, what are the other issues you think? Um like like Abdul said, peer pressure might be a big issue and obviously it's like if you see someone do something and say for example you see someone with a lot of money, you might think they're doing the mm. right thing, you might your aspiration might be that you wanna be rich. 
But then again, it might not be the right path to go down. Because obviously there's like stuff like he said, drugs and stuff like that. And that path is obviously not the right path, but you might not know it. But if there's someone older mm. getting that sort of money, then you might just see it as them getting money, but you might not know the actual consequences. So obviously you have to think about stuff like that. Okay, if I ask you, why do, do you young people get involved in the first place? These are the issues. These are the really, really bad issues. Why do you think young people are getting into it? Do they know what they're getting into, though, in the beginning? Um, I think some people don't know what they're getting into. Like, again, these dogs said, um, people look up to other people as well. So when someone else is doing bad, they might be kind of influenced by it. When they're influenced by it, it can lead to better things, but sometimes if their inner side is good enough, then they'll realise that they're doing bad and then turn to the good side. When you say peer pressure, um, Rahman, if you say peer pressure, so what, is, what does it mean to you? Say you're going to school, what are the pressure you're thinking about? Like, uh, everyone's doing it, if I don't do what's going to happen. Is that what you mean? Or? So that if someone's doing something bad and there's a group of them, um, you're there, but they'll tell you to do it in one or whatever it is. For example, drinking, alcohol, something like that. It's quite widespread, isn't it? Drinking is quite widespread in, 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 our, in our community, yeah. actually. It's sad. A lot of people now they drink, boys and girls. Yeah. It's, that's, it's true, isn't it? Yeah. You can't help it. It's there, man. Um, if someone, I'm sure there are, there are a lot of you know, uh, positive news as well. Plenty of people. We, you know, mashallah, we're doing very well in education now. Our young people are, mashallah, going to Yorkshire University, Cambridge University. I don't know if you know. Recently, someone was saying a 45 um, student from Oxford and Cambridge, Bangladeshi background. It's, it's, it's a brilliant news, and we're doing so well in, in education as well. But those issues we're talking about today is quite serious ones, you know, like knife, you know, crime is is quite high, man. You know, do you know? I mean, I'm sure you've seen the people cutting knives. Um, if someone wants to be, they don't want to get into this kind of stuff, do you think it's how difficult it is for him, you feel? Okay. Masum, what do you think? If someone doesn't want to get into this kind of stuff, he's a, gen a gentleman, imagine. A I young think man. it would be hard for him because at this moment in time, there's a lot of people that think that type of thing is cool. They would think that carrying a knife would is, a f of is a form of protection. Obviously, not everyone knows that, but for themselves to think that they could, like, they might not know that they're, inspir in they're inspiration to someone else, but someone else might think, yeah, that's another form of protection. So they might start walking around with a knife, but little did they know that like, if you're caught in possession of a knife, like, you could get a jail custody sentence or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if someone was to, you know, some of them, so young, young people are somehow being hooked into it, towards the gangs or the kind of crime, what do they, what kind of tactics they use, those gangsters? Do, do you guys know? I think um, a lot of you think that money is like the key to everything. So maybe the people that are doing bad, they might have a lot of money, but with that money, you don't know what they're doing. They might use it to do better stuff. And that might influence those kids to kind of start what they're doing. So th that means uh, they will be showing about around those people they want to target and just say, look at the lifestyle. What, what I'd say is as well, you know, a lot of people, Alhamdulillah, I'd say, and you know, I've got good relationship with my family, we're all very close. Um, but there is, it's sad, but there is a lot of kids out there that don't have that good connection with their parents, their family. So, you know, the gangs, they would make you feel welcome. They'll make you feel part of them. So, you know, if you're feeling lonely or you haven't got any friends or you haven't got mm. anyone, you'd, you'd find friends with them because, yeah, you know, at, it's, it's, it's sad to say, but it's honest, you know, they will treat you nicely, they will keep you as family, you know, to get you on board. And then, you know, they will make use of you in what way they need. So, you know, they want you to do this, they want you to do that. But it is, it's people that are alone, they haven't got anyone. Or, you know, you have people that have been bullied previously, you know, it leads them to do these kind of things. You know, he was saying people carry around a knife for protection. You know, imagine you went through your whole school life being bullied and you got beaten up. And then, you know, one day you felt threatened for your life. Mm. You would think, you know what, let me just carry the knife with me. And you could end up being in that situation. You're not a murderer, you're not a cold-blooded killer. But out to go to defend yourself, you could end up accidentally stabbing somebody, mm. you know, 
in a severe way that you could end up killing them, but you were scared for your own safety, that's why you used the knife. You know, it, it, you could end up being in that situation, and it's sad because you know, innocent kid, he could he could be carrying a knife because he's scared about other people. Somebody might scare him, and he, out of that fear, he mm. might stab them. And you know, it's sad, but it does happen, and it's all around us. It's everywhere. And um, yeah, like I said, it's people that don't have people, or they think that these people make them their family. You know, that's why they go to them. Before we go for a break, um, can I ask... Um, yeah, can I quickly say something? Yeah, go on. Um, you know how you said uh, people like welcoming and whatnot? That's why what I feel like Boy FC is a good place. Because instead of a gang, they're, like, they're a team that help. They welcome anyone. It don't matter where you're from, where, what you do. Like, pretty much the age-wise, even if you're a young, young kid that just wants to stay off the streets and you're not in the age range to play for senior, they will still welcome you in to do training every Sunday. So personally, I look forward to training every Sunday, and I obviously think that that's a good thing. That that's where Boy FC come in; they help keep kids off the street, streets, and then that obviously is very helpful. So yeah. No, I'm glad you you, I, you mentioned that actually. After the break, we'll come to that, inshallah. Um, so my dear brother, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm young boy, I'm going to talk about this. So what's happening is um, they are facing it's a difficult time. So we need to be very careful with them as well. We need to work with them. So what's going to happen is um, if you want to give us a call and you know share your ideas, inshallah, that would be great. So I'll see you after the break, inshallah. We're just going for a small break. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Oh, oh, oh. 